Hello YouTube, I'm Tim, and welcome to part 3 of my DVD and Blu-ray update for September 2018. One Blu-ray to show off that I got yesterday from Amazon Prime, and then I've got one Amazon package today that came in the regular mail, and then one deep discount package that was in regular regular mail. But first up, uh, yesterday I got the Blu-ray edition of Ed Wood's The Violent Years. It's put out in conjunction to something weird video with the American genre film archive. Yeah, some this is a public domain movie that Alpha Video had put out and Rhino home video and put it out on VHS, and then there was a special edition DVD from something weird video, but American Genre Film Archive found the negatives, so they got, they teamed up with something weird to do a Blu-ray edition, and as a bonus, it's got Another movie, at Anatomy of a Psycho from 1961, which is a new 2K scan from the original 35mm theatrical print. And this is an all-regions Blu-ray, and The Violent Years is presented in 1.85 widescreen original aspect ratio. And special features, new 4K scan from the original 35mm camera negative, commentary track with filmmaker Frank Henenlotter, and let's see what else we get. See? Commentary track with filmmaker Frank Henenlotter and Ed Wood biographer Rudolph Gray. Gutter Noir trailers from the Something Weird Vault memorabilia, memorabilia soundtrack and more, and then, like I already mentioned, there's this bonus movie. And The Violent Years, directed by William Morgan from 1956, black and white, 65 minutes. And here's what it says on the back, I shot a cup, a cop, so what? So, say, the girl gang, thrill killers of Ed Wood's Delirious, The Violent Years, written by legendary Hollywood outsider Edward D. Wood Jr., Plan 9 from Outer Space. This is the story of Paula Parkins, a good girl gone bad who leads her degenerate teenage hellcats down a path of gas station hijackings, pajama party orgy, orgies, and cold-blooded murder from Wood's patently deranged dialogue to the scene where the gang performs a man attack, The Violent Years is an essential expose on crime, gender politics, and sweater stealing. Remember, this is a story of violence. And it looks like this is distributed by MVD Visual, a division of MVD Entertainment Group. And it's just a single All Regions Blu-ray. Violent Years. Anatomy of a Psycho is a bonus movie. Blu-ray edition from American Genre Film Archive and Something Weird Video. And then I had... Let's see. Yeah, this should be... Yeah, this is the last of what I had on order from Amazon beside other Hillary Thacker Egyptian belly dance DVD was damaged so they had to return it and refund my money so I ended up ordering that from some other store or other than Amazon so that'll be coming who knows when sometime late this month Let's see what I got in this one. Criterion Collection, The Graduate. Yeah, and I showed off that cheap MGM DVD I got, but I got 
I got the more expensive DVD edition. Uh, Joseph, it's starting to come open. Yeah, the shrink wrap's coming off. Joseph E. Levine presents Mike Nichols, Lawrence Terman production, The Graduate, Ing Anne Bancroft, Dustin Hoffman, and Catherine Ross, and it's from 1967. Uh, DVD editions. Night from 1967. Uh, 1967, 106 minutes. Color. Mon Oral Audio 2.35 aspect ratio. It's region one locked. It's got English and subtitles for Beatles and English for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing and MGM and Studio Canal. Who this came from. And one of the most beloved American films. <laughs> Very iconic image from the movie. One of the most beloved American films of all time, The Graduate earned Mike Nichols a Best Director Oscar, brought the music of Simon and Garfunkel to a wider audi audience, and introduced the world to a young actor named Dustin Hoffman. Benjamin Braddock Hoffman has just finished, has just finished college and is already lost in a sea of confusion and barely contained angst when he becomes sexually involved with a parent, with a friend of his parents, the indomitable Mrs. Robinson Ann Bancroft, before turning his attention to her college-aged daughter, Catherine Ross, visually imaginative and impeccably acted with a clever, endlessly quotable script by Buck Henry based on the novel by Charles Webb, The Graduate had the kind of cultural impact that comes along only once in a generation, and two DVD special edition features a new 4K scan and digital restoration, optional 5.1 surround remix approved by director Mike Nichols, audio commentary from 2007 featuring Nichols and Somebody, I don't know who that is. Somebody's trying to leave a message. I can't understand them. But there's audio commentary from 2007 featuring Nichols in conversation with filmmaker Steven Soderbergh. Audio commentary from 1987 featuring film scholar Howard Zuber. New interview with actor Dustin Hoffman, a new conversation between producer Lawrence Terman and screenwriter Buck Henry, new interview with film writer and historian Bobby Osteen about editor Sam Osteen's work on The Graduate, Students of The Graduate, a short documentary from 2007 on the film's influence, The Graduate at 25, a 1992 featurette on the making of the film, interview with Nichols by Barbara Walters from a 1966 episode of NBC's Today Show and an excerpt from 1970 appearance by singer-songwriter Paul Simon on The Dick Cavett Show. Then there's screen tests, the trailer, plus an essay by journalist critic Frank Rich. Yeah, it's from a new 4K digital restoration. Two DVDs rated PG. So this should be an anamorphic enhanced widescreen. Graduate. I'm going to tr turn on the light. Let's see if that gives me a little bit more light in here. Okay, it's a little bit brighter in here, but I guess because of my dark hair and my glasses, because I look a little bit reddish, or pinkish, darkens me some. Here. 
10 minutes, so I've got a package from Deep Discount, and then that'll be it for part 3. Okay, and then these should both be DVD Blu-ray combos. So first up, it's 1982 cult movie classic on Blu-ray for the very first time, and it's been out on DVD before, but the past DVD went out of print. Now it's a DVD Blu-ray combo, and it looks like it's a multi-regions, and Subtitles in English for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing, Mono Audio, and it's 1.85 widescreen, 1982, 112 minutes in color. Uh, special features. Uh, yeah, it's from Vinegar Syndrome. And see those, ni those neat neon colors? Special features newly scanned and restored in 4K from the 35mm original negative. Commentary track with Slava Tussekerman, director. Interview with Slava Tussekerman. Interview with Anne Carlyle, actress. Director's introduction, Liquid Sky Revisited 2017. 50-minute making of documentary. Question it. Q&A from a 2017 Alamo Drafthouse Yonkers screening with Slava to Suckerman and Carlyle and Clive Smith, co-composer, isolated score, never-before-seen outtakes, alternate opening sequence, behind-the-scenes rehearsal footage, multiple trailers, still gallery, cover artwork, and by the cover artworks by Derek Gab... Br this is Zach, reversible cover artwork, and then the English SDH subtitles I already mentioned. And I think this used to come with a slip cover, but now I think they're probably out of the slip covers by now. Or I don't know if I had to get those direct or from it from Amazon. I'll read the back. Margaret Ann Carlyle is a fashion model with dreams of stardom whose alter ego and rival Jimmy, also Carlyle, abuses and takes advantage of her to satisfy his rampant drug addiction. Unknown to them, tiny invisible aliens have landed on the roof above the Bohemian, the Bohemian squalor in which they live and begin killing anyone Margaret has sex with to feed on their pleasure, giving neurotransmitters, all the while a German scientist attempts to capture and study them. Hailed by Time magazines as a two-hour act of imagination, Slava, Slava to Suckerman's Liquid Sky is an underground masterpiece of avant-garde science fiction filmmaking set against the visual majesty of New York's early 80s new wave scene and filmed with the arresting cinematography by Yuri Neyman along with an acclaimed original soundtrack Vinegar Syndrome proudly brings this quintential midnight movie to Blu-ray newly restored in 4K from its original 35mm camera negative and this also stars Paula E. Shepard, whose only other film was Alice, Sweet Alice. This star also stars Bob Brady and Susan Dukas. And then Anne Carlyle's the main star, but looks like she also co-wrote the screenplay with with the director Slava Tesekerman and Nina V. E. Kurova. It's no ratings listed, but uh, this has got to be R. <laughs> so, Liquid Sky. And I 
can't, you know, there's no little focus thing on this newer camera, so. Yeah, that's not going to show up any better. And 15.30, I've got one more from Deep Discount. And it doesn't, yeah, so I would guess, since I didn't buy it directly from Vinegar Syndrome, I didn't, I didn't get a slip cover. And Amazon had this other one up for pre-order, but then they took it down. And I either had to pre-order, I either had to, well, I think they started, it's out now, but I had to either buy it directly from Vinegar Syndrome, pay over twenty four ninety nine for it just to get it with a slip cover, or they said to order it elsewhere, but they weren't gonna have it on Amazon Prime. Wonder Women, as opposed to Wonder Woman, it's Wonder Women. And special features: newly scanned and restored in two K from thirty five millimeter camera negative. Commentary track with director Robert Vincent O'Neill has the extended European version 90 minutes Q&A from a 2007 screening at the New Beverly Cinema in Los Angeles with Robert Vincent O'Neill, Nancy Kwan, Ross Hagen, Roberta Collin Collins, and Sid, Sid Haig. And then there's the theatrical trailer, multiple TV spots, pro promotional still gallery, reversible cover art. I think the ones with the slip cover had this, either had this artwork or it had art, the alternate ar artwork that's on the other side. And there's English subtitles. Director Robert Vincent O'Neill starring. Nancy Kwan, Ross Hagen, Vic Diaz, Sid Haig, and Roberta Collins. It's region, it's all region ABC, so all regions, DVD and Blu-ray combo, 1.85 widescreen, so it should be enhanced, and should be enhanced widescreen anamorphic. 82 minutes from 1973. And while traveling to Australia, American detective Mike Harper, Ross Hagen, finds himself stranded in the Philippines and obliged to assist in solving the mysterious disappearance of a famous Jai Eli athlete. After hearing from a witness that the man might have been kidnapped by a group of beautiful hearse-driving women, Mike quickly finds himself a new target of the Wonder Woman, a group of martial arts fighting assassins who work for the mysterious Dr. Tetsu, Nancy Kwan, evil genius scientist who's been collecting able-bodied men for her use in her bizarre body part transplant experiments. Martial arts madness, dangerous chase scenes, insult, heavy dialogue, vague sci-fi twists, and a whole lot more nudity and violence than its very misleading PG rating would imply. Robert Vincent O'Neill's Wonder Woman is a quintessential slice of early 70s drive-in craziness, featuring supporting performances from Roberta, Colon from Roberta Colon Collins and Filipino exploitation stalwart Vic Diaz. Vinegar Syndrome is pleased to bring this eye-popping color, colorful B-movie classic to Blu-ray, newly restored from its original 35mm camera negative and featuring both the original domestic theatrical version as well as the complete never on never on disc extended European cut. So, Wonder Women And I it doesn't seem to be any way to get the camera to focus. And 
I think that one girl's topless, but her hair is covering up. The main naughty part. <laughs> So, it's 21 minutes, hello. Now it's time to recap. So first up, yesterday from Amazon Prime, I got the American Genre Film Archive something weird video, Blu-ray of Ed Wood's The Violent Years that has Anatomy of a Psycho on there as a bonus feature. And then the Criterion 2 DVD special edition of The Graduate starring Anne Bancroft, Dustin Hoffman, and Catherine Ross. Yeah, that came in the mail today from Amazon, from Aunt Amazon seller. I don't think it was exactly Amazon Prime. And then from Deep Discount, the Vinegar Syndrome DVD Blu-ray combo pack of the 1982 cult movie classic, Liquid Sky. And it's not, no slipcover, but this artwork should reverse, I believe. And then the look. The Vinegar Syndrome DVD Blu-ray combo pack of 1973 drive-in exploitation movie Wonder Women. And it's 70s PG, so it but it goes beyond that, so it's almost R. Or it could it could have been R, but for some reason it was only PG, so those Last two, Liquid Sky and Wonder Women were from Deep Discount. And this was from an Amazon seller that came in today's mail. And this I got from Amazon Prime delivery yesterday. So that's it for part three of my DVD and Blu-ray update for September 2018. Keep an eye out for part four coming soon because I have, I think it's just two more movies coming in the mail. Should be only two more coming this month. So I am Tim and thank you for watching my DVD and Blu-ray update.